video. Thank you. Hi, everybody. For those who are here in Stonewall National Monument Park, today is Transgender Day of Remembrance. And so we're making history today by raising the transgender flag in honor of all the transgender people who have come before us, the ones who are coming into the world, the ones who are fought for equal rights. So here it is, our transgender flag. And here is one of the foremothers of the transgender liberation movement, Marsha P. Johnson. So let's have a, a round of applause in a moment for Marsha P. Johnson, also known as Transgender Saint, also known as the mother of Christopher Street. And I have something written here that I'd like to share with you all. My name is Summer Minerva, and I grew up in New York City. And I'm here today to just honor all of the transgender pioneers and to remember the lives of transgender people who have been murdered brutally at the hands of a violent society. These streets, this neighborhood, this city, this country, this whole world is filled with the stories of transgender lives. As many of you know, because you lived it, Christopher Street, the piers, bars like the Julius, the Stonewall, were places where people on the margins of society could go to be in community and to belong. Because in mainstream society, we could not. Many people had to live our lives in secret because it was actually against the law for trans people or gay people to be who we were. Powers that be wanted to erase us, wanted to deny that we existed by making our expression illegal. I don't think I want this. Being transgender is not a mistake. Being transgender is not the issue. It is not the problem. The issue is the society that does not accept all of us as full humans worthy of love and respect. This flag raising today is an important symbol in our country of visibility and power for our transgender siblings. We must remember that we transgender people are told as children that our desires and expressions of who we innately are are perverse and wrong. But we know otherwise. Trans people are a gift to society. We show the world that no one has to live by the arbitrary rules that limit self-expression. The workings of time and progress have made it so that trans people can not only live in accordance with our true gender legally, but we can get governmental support in order to do so. We can change our birth names. Oh, sh <laughs> We can change our birth names. We can change our gender markers on our IDs and live how we want. Where there is a will, there is a way today. I want to remind us that it was not always like this. People have fought. People have given their lives so that we can live the way we want. People like Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera and their descendants and collaborators. But things are not also rosy. Many people here in the United States of America and around the world are still being brutally murdered and attacked for being the beautiful people and divine unique expressions that they are. Street harassment is a major issue in New York City. So, while we have so much to be grateful for, we still have a lot of work to do to make this society safe for all of us. In 1973, when transgender leader Sylvia Rivera made the speech that I am about to reiterate for you, 
She made the speech to a crowd filled with people who were supposed to be her allies. They were supposed to be her supporters. At this point in time, the white, gays, middle-class lesbians viewed her and other trans people as a hindrance to their movement. But these so-called hindrances were on the front lines. Trans women of color are still on the front lines today. I dedicate this speech to the lives lost at the hands of gender-based violence around the world. May we all find belonging and love. been trying to get up here all day for your gay brothers and your gay sisters in jail. They write me every motherfucking week asking for your help, but do you do anything for them? Have you ever been beaten up and raped in jail? Think about it. They have been beaten up and raped in jail after having spent much of their money to try to get themselves home so that they can get their sex changes. They are to become women. The women who are trying to get their sex changes are to become women of the women's liberation movement. And they don't write women. They don't write women's groups. They don't write men, they write star. Because we are the ones that are trying to do something for them. I have been to jail. I have been beaten and raped many times by men, by heterosexual men that do not belong in the homosexual shelter. But did you all do anything for them? You all tell me to go and hide my tail between my legs. But I will not no longer put up with this shit. I have been beaten. I have had my nose broken. I have been thrown in jail. I have lost my job. I have lost my apartment for gay liberation. And you all treat me this way? What the fuck is wrong with you all? I, mean, I don't believe in a gay revolution. But you all are too. I believe in the gay power. I believe in us getting our rights or else I would not be out here fighting for our rights. <gasps> and that's all I wanted to say to you all people. So if you want to know about some of the gay people that are in jail, and do not forget Bambi Lamour and Dora Mott, Kenny Messner, and the other gay people that are in jail, you can come see us at Star House, 640 East 12th Street, between B and C. And you can talk to some of the people that are trying to do something for all of us, not just the people that belong to a middle class white club. Because that's what you all belong to. Revolution now!